Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and uh, we're in the viewer questions, so we're going to go into the viewer questions in another video. Um, and um, this one has to do with Windows updates and software updates in general, uh, because the question is, why do we need updates? And um, of course, one of the reasons uh, for the question comes with the fact that, you know, you get an update and sometimes it breaks something. So, you know, why do we need updates and so on? Um, there are in Windows, and of course, we're going to answer also on the second part of this video. Another question is, um, you know, do you think, because that's, that's something that I, I've heard over time a lot and still here today. Well, you know, they're pushing these updates to kill Windows, to kill our PC, so they have to buy a new one. Um, so we're going to answer these two questions uh, in this video. So the first one, why do we need updates? And the most part for updates, for the most part, uh, they're in two different categories. Updates will either be simply an update to bring new features, change features, uh, move things around, change the look and feel. Depends, you know, it's like a new version of Windows. Sometimes in the same version of Windows, we have new features. For example, an update brings, you know, the uh, tabs in the file explorer. It's something that some people want. It wasn't there uh, in previous versions of Windows 11. So there are features that are being pushed. There are things that are being changed. Um, part of it is for you know to try to make things better for the user uh, because users even though most of the new features users don't really use them there are some people that will use them and there are features that could pop up that are extremely useful and become you know a standard everybody now goes to that new feature they like it so there are features um, and uh, other updates that are available are security so updates will always have to be done because there will always be at least security updates you know I get it that for most people new features is something that they don't necessarily want they just want a working PC and that's a very valid thing why mess up things and change things around when it's perfectly usable and great like this for most people, that's the way of thinking. But by adding features and things like that, we, you know, sometimes we uh, change something that that to a positive point that people will like. It's it's you know. But it is a valid question that yeah, the more updates you get, technically the bigger the chances that maybe something messes up. But it's part of the upgrade process, and it's every operating system that's like that. Um, you know, I always say it for people that say, oh, well, you know, I wish Mac looks so perfect and, and, and stable. Go to the Mac uh, forums to see the amount of people that are going crazy over problems they're having with updates that are being pushed. You'll see that it isn't as great as it looks. So every operating system is like that, you know. What happens is that updates will always be um, necessary, at least for security. So even if we would remove the updates for cosmetic reasons and new features, security is going to be there and we will need security updates. It's impossible to create an operating system or a software that is perfect. It's made by humans. There are things we don't think about. There are things we don't see. So the security updates are there to fix that. Of course, there's there's hackers out there that constantly and you know all the time are there to try to find a flaw so that they can infiltrate your system. Why? Because it's billion dollar market. The bad guys make money off of the fact that they can suddenly take control of PCs and send ransomware. You can't stop that. Stopping. You know, when people say, well, you know, why don't they just stop the hackers? Well, it's like uh, telling, it's like saying to someone, well, we're going to stop all the thieves that steal stuff in a city. It, it can't be done. It's impossible. There's always going to be someone 
that is, you know, in need of money and will go to the dark side and, you know, bring into a home, break into a bank, whatever. We'll never stop that. Um, we can try to mitigate it, but we can't stop that. It's the same thing for security problems in software. Um, always, there's always somebody somewhere that has a way of finding a flaw. And then the flaw needs to be fixed, so you'll get an update. That will always be the case for every software. The second part of the question about um, updates being there to kill your PC, and and we can add to that because this is a question that often comes is, well, I get updates and my PC is getting slower and slower. The There are two things that make your PC slower. As it ages, it will be slower. It will be slower because the newer software that comes in, your update for the browser, and all the things that you do, um, you know what, your PC has a certain power. When you purchased your PC, the power was for that era of the PC. As time goes on, things require sometimes a little more power to work. And what happens is there's a slowdown that happens over time. Now, we're lucky today because it's not as bad as it was in the 90s. If you guys were PC users, and even worse, if you're a gamer, back in the 90s, PCs are extremely expensive compared to today, but you had to change it every two years, roughly, because it was becoming unusable. The technologies were so different that, oh, if you want to have that new thing, you need a new PC now. Today, we're not in that mode anymore. We're much more in 2D. It's slowing down over time, but it's always usable, and you always can use that software. It's just that you'll have a gradual slowdown. So, in effect, today's PCs last much longer and have a much longer life than PCs back in the 80s and 90s where things were just crazy. It was you know, uns unsustainable. Um, and so that is something that happens as, you know, the software gets a little bigger, things get bigger. Internet stuff, you know, is heavier, more download. There's a reason why you need faster internet than 10 years ago. Uh, a lot of the stuff you do and we do, well, has more data to be downloaded and it has to be downloaded at this faster speed. Inside a computer, same thing happens, but the other side also is sometimes, um, and that's one of the things that I often say, is when your PC has been running for a few years with updates all the time, and you've been installing software, maybe uninstalling things, you'll get a little more, it's, it's going to get heavier inside that PC. It's going to be slower. It's not necessarily because the PC can run fast. And that's where sometimes, over time, a, a clean install, as we call it, or reformatting is the old term, is required. And often, when you do that, you find that your PC is actually pretty much as fast as it was when you purchased it. So, you know, all of that together and um, all the new technologies. Now, do manufacturers, you know, send updates to break your PC or or slow it down intentionally, or uh, make sure that you have to update your PC. Not, not, they don't do that. There's no need to do that. Uh, it's, it's, your PC runs, and when it runs slower, it's because as technologies advance, your PC will run slower for the different things it needs to do uh, because it has to work harder for the same thing. But it's not, um, you know, um, there's no pushing an update to kill a PC. It doesn't exist. But yes, in a way, you can say that the software getting heavier, the different things you do getting a little more difficult because the computer needs to work harder. There is a push towards eventually you will buy a new PC. It's a little, it's, it's part of the industry in itself. But there's no such thing as um, tomorrow morning, 
uh, we're going to push an update to kill that those PCs because we want people to move on. It doesn't work like that. Um, and, you know, it it is something that has to be done from time to time. You will need a new PC eventually. But think about it. Your PCs today last a lot longer than it used to 10, 20, 30 years ago. If you enjoyed my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.